What's up everyone, welcome back to Mainly Movies, the channel where we talk about, well, Mainly Movies. So welcome back to the channel, I know it's been a while and I've been wanting to make a few videos for a while, but I haven't, and now's the time to do it. And I wanted to kickstart 2021 off, my first video of 2021, I wanted to talk about a very special movie, a movie that I've been waiting to see for ages, it premiered in... Uh, Toronto International Film Festival last year. Sorry, not Sundance, Cairns. I'm not sure if it was in Sundance. And it was also in Adelaide Film Festival, which is the city that I'm in. And now I've finally been able to see it. It is now released in theatres. And the movie we're going to be talking about, and the movie is Another Round, directed by Thomas Vinterberg and starring Mads Mikkelsen. Now this movie is about four teachers, one of which, Martin, played by Mads Mikkelsen, is a bit of a He's struggling as a teacher. The parents are complaining that he's not teaching their children in the right way. He's not teaching in the curriculum or anything. His family is starting to resent him and he needs something to spark up his life. When one day they make a deal that they're going to start drinking 0.5% uh, of alcohol. So they have 0.5% alcohol in their bloodstream and they're going to get to that level each day and work with that each day just to make their lives a bit more exciting. Yeah. Now the last film that Thomas Vinterberg and Mads Mikkelsen did together was this film right here, The Hunt, which is one of my favourite movies of all time and that's why I was really excited to see this film because they're working together again to make another film. This movie is a little bit more different than The Hunt. The Hunt is purely serious and it's a pure drama and it's a very confronting and very... Um, it's a very hard to watch film and I will hopefully do a review on that movie soon another time because I absolutely love that film and I do want to talk about it. I've seen it multiple times now and this is another film like that that I want to watch multiple times. I'm starting to really like Vinterberg's films. The, I've only seen these two but I'm going to try and find his other films, try and track down what other films that he's made because I really, really do like these two films. But like I was saying, unlike this film, this movie is it's a little bit more joyful, but there is a lot of dark moments. There's a lot of depressing and drama scenes in this. Obviously, the characters start taking the alcohol to the extreme and they start getting to 1% uh, blood alcohol level and they start going a little bit more higher and becoming alcoholics themselves. And obviously that's when the movie turns, but the comedy in this movie is actually really good. It's a mixture between you, you're laughing at what they're doing, but you're also feeling kind of sorry for them because they're slowly losing everything as well. And, but at the same time, it's absolutely hilarious. Now this film is probably the best film that I've seen this year in 2021, but I haven't seen any movies in 2021. It would probably be the best movie that I've seen in 2020 as well. Nothing really that amazing came out in 2020 that I was really, really excited about. Now, I am going to be doing a review on Tenet because I've now seen it twice. I saw it in theaters when it came out. Now I have the 4K Blu-ray and I re-watched that the other week. And I'm going to do like a my second viewing video on it. But even that wasn't... I'm not going to spoil what I think of Tenet because that's a whole different story. But I will say that this is probably the best film that I've seen in the past year or so. This was really, really good. Now there's a few things that Thomas Vinterberg does with his films that I've noticed in the past two of his films. That I can see general audiences not really liking. For instance, the first 20 minutes of the movie, the way he builds up characters isn't like normal movies. They, he just kind of shows their day-to-day -day lives. Sort of like what a Jim Jarmusch film or something would do. Like, it, it's, it's very slow paced, but it builds the character. And then there's that one moment which sparks the story. In the case of this film, it's when they all go out to dinner and they start making the deal that they're going to start drinking during work time. And in The Hunt, it's basically when the little girl, Clara, uh, admits that he touched her when he didn't but that that's what start that's what starts the story in that film and there's and it's always the first 20 minutes that I can see people kind of struggling to get through but if you can get through that the rest of the movie is usually an amazing ride it is usually an emotional roller coaster that you have to in just endure his films are kind of like neo realism they they feel like real people people that people that you would bump into on the streets and that's why I really like Vinceberg films because the characters are so relatable because they feel like people you would know I honestly think that this movie is a terrific film 
Uh, it is one of the best I've seen in the uh, in the year. It is absolutely hilarious. The performance by Mads Mikkelsen, as well as the other actors, are phenomenal. The directing by Vinterberg is really good. And the cinematography as well, that's another thing. Now, the, the Blu-ray that I have here, I don't know whether it's the Blu-ray itself, but the quality is absolutely outstanding. It is amazing, it's really clear, and I'm looking forward to getting another round on Blu-ray to see how clear that film is well. Because I'm sh I'm assuming they filmed this with digital cameras because it has a very digital modern look, sort of like the way a movie like Parasite looks, where it's very clean. Although the movie theatre kind of makes it look a little bit blurry, but it still has this nice clean look to it. But I'm honestly thinking that Vinterberg is now one of my favorite directors. The passion that he has for his characters and for the story is unbelievable and that's exactly why I love his films and you can tell there is a passion for his films and the story that he wants to tell. And I highly recommend this film. It is actually one that you should probably see. There's a science behind alcohol and it kind of gets into it in this film. It shows how, it shows how good alcohol and how bad alcohol can be. And that's one thing I really liked about this movie. It shows you how alcohol can be helpful and sometimes it can help with stress. Uh, just a little tiny bit of alcohol can kind of take the edge off. But when you start abusing alcohol, that's when problems start to occur. And that's why I think this movie is great. It is, it is, a, it is fun, it's enjoyable. I also think this is his most accessible film. I feel like a general audience can go see it. I saw it with somebody who doesn't really see many uh, foreign films. And he had a easy, it was, it was an easy movie to follow. He even said halfway through the movie, I forgot I was watching a movie with subtitles. It's just that he's, Vinterberg's films are just so easy to connect with the characters and to understand that you forget that you're watching a foreign film. Obviously in the country that it is, which is Swedish, uh, I think it's, yeah, it's a Swedish film. Obviously it's not foreign for them, but for us it's a different language, so we do we are reading subtitles. And it's perfectly fine, it is a great film, it's accessible for a general audience, so I do recommend this to most people, and I think that it's a great film that you should see, especially at this time. Now, I know a lot of theatres are closing, and it's a big problem, and I haven't really talked about it on this channel. I will go into that in another video probably, but it is a bit of a depressing topic. Um, there's a lot of things that are happening uh, in the movie industry that's changing a bit. And because I haven't really been, ma I haven't made a video in a couple of months now. I haven't really talked about it, and we haven't really wrapped up 2020. And um, I've kind of forgotten about 2020 in my mind, to be honest. And um, that's why I didn't really do much at the end of the year for this channel. But enough about that. Another round. It is a fantastic movie. I highly recommend it. And I'm going to give another round. A 9.5 out of 10. I do think the only negative that I really had with the film is the fact, and I forgot to mention this, the fact that the second act kind of repeats itself a lot. There's a lot of times where it's just, you feel like something's gonna happen, like another bad thing's gonna happen, but then it goes in the same route again. They just drink, and then they rock up to school, and then they drink a little bit more, and they drink a little bit more, and they drink a little bit more, and that's the whole second act. I do feel like the second act repeats itself a lot, and that's my only tiny little issue with the film, but other than that, I think it's a perfect film to watch at this time. It's enjoyable, it's really fun, it's a fun movie. Um, it has a great comedy, it's really funny, and it has some really, really good drama, and Mads Mikkelsen's performance in the film is always really good, as well as the other cast, they were really good as well. And uh, yeah, so guys, thank you for watching the video. Thanks for sticking around on the channel. More videos are gonna be coming soon, like that Tenet review. I rewatched that movie just to make a video. I've now got a massive setup at the moment. I've got a monitor here now that I can see myself on. And the video, the, my camera always turns off and on, so I need to get a new camera. But with this monitor, I can now tell, because I can't flip the screen around, I can now tell when it goes on and off, which is, absolutely fantastic. I can now see when this, when the camera turns off so I'm not talking for 20 minutes straight without it even recording. So that's great and that was another reason why I didn't make so many videos because my camera keeps stuffing up. Editing is a lot easier now. It's just so much better to make a video and you're going to be seeing a lot more of this face from now on. But another thing I quickly wanted to talk about is I started the gaming channel, mainly gaming. The link will be in the description box below if you're interested in seeing some gameplay. Uh, more than welcome to check it out. But if you're not into gaming, this is still going to be my main channel that I'm going to be focusing on because my love for movies. I love movies. But anyway, thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and subscribe and I hope to see you guys in the next video. So stay tuned. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.